Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. My name's Nathan, and in this video, I'm gonna take you on a little journey back in time. Now, this is going to be a personal story of mine from when I first started developing games in Unity. Now, the year was 2013, and I had just got home from a two-year trip abroad to England, and at that time, I was still a young bachelor trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And being really close to my brother, Mark, we both decided that we wanted to learn how to develop video games. And my brother and I had been playing video games together prior since the time I was six years old, maybe even before that. And back then, all we had was the classic NES console and maybe some CD-ROMs. So video games have been a huge part of my life growing up, and I've been able to see a huge part of the evolution of video games, and video games have helped me stay close to my brother over the years, and even after I've moved away. And so I believe that it was our long history of playing video games together that helped us decide that we wanted to learn how to develop games. When we first started game development, we were trying out the Game Maker engine, and we were learning that game engine fairly well, but then we stumbled across Unity, and we figured that that would be a better game engine to go with because it seemed like it was a little more robust than Game Maker, being a 3D game engine. So, Nathan told me that he's telling you guys how he got into game development. And he is a liar because when I met Nathan, well, we dated in high school. And then when I met him and started dating him, uh, once we were older, he was like making weird videos in Adobe, like Flash, with like really weird little characters. And <laughs> don't tell that part of the story. What are you doing? <laughs> and he was like, I want to make games. And I was just finishing up my degree in uh, gaming and animation. And so I told him to check out Unity and taught him all the basics that he needed to know about coding and uh, how to make games. So he wanted to not include me in his little life story, but here That's I am. That's true. I didn't know if you wanted to be included. It ruins it if you're here talking about it. No, it doesn't. I think it's funny. No, it's not funny. Now, Game Maker is still a great engine, and it's especially good for those that are just starting out in game development. Now, knowing that you have to learn C-sharp in order to properly use the Unity game engine, my father gave me a book called Sam's Teach Yourself C-Sharp in 21 Days. Now this is a really great book that essentially got my feet wet. Now I didn't read the whole book because it didn't take long before I just wanted to get set loose and start developing. Now I'll leave a link to where you can purchase this book in the description below. And maybe I'll even do a whole tutorial series on learning C-sharp in 21 days. Now as I was reading this book, pretty early on it has a lesson on how to simulate a dice roll. And as I was working through this lesson, a light bulb turned on. My brilliant idea was that I wanted to create a Liar's Dice game for the phone. If you've ever seen the second Pirates of the Caribbean, Liar's Dice is the game that all of the crew of the Flying Dutchman play wagering years of service on the ship. They also have a Liar's Dice mini game in the first Red Dead Redemption. And so this was my idea to create a very basic mobile app that would allow you to play Liar's Dice with your friends without having to have a bunch of dice. Now that idea has already been done, but it didn't matter because this was my very first project and all I cared about was creating the application from start to finish. And so I got to work and it probably took me about a month to maybe three months to develop this app to a point where I felt like it served its purpose. Now the sad part of this story is that I never released the app on either Android or iOS. I was on to the next project. And so that's what I want to do in this video. I want to find that project and open it up inside of Unity and see what's become of it. If it updates to the new version of Unity, then I'm going to try and preserve as much of the old code as I can, but also add in some new features that I've since learned how to do. I'm then going to make a WebGL build of this game and put it up on our website. And I'm also going to try and build it out for Android and iOS. And so if you're watching this video now, then check the description below for links on where you can download this game on those platforms. All right, so here I have my file system open, and this is the folder in which I keep pretty much all of my games. And I actually don't see it here because when I developed Liar's Dice, 
I developed it on my old computer, which I don't have anymore. But have no fear because I backed it up on an external hard drive. So here I have my external hard drive open and I have this folder here called old PC. So I'm gonna open that up and hope it's in there. I'm then going to go to my games folder and here you can see I have two projects called Liar's Dice. Now I don't know which of these projects is the most current and so I'm going to take both of them and copy them over to my internal hard drive. Now that I've finished copying these projects over, I'm going to open up Unity. I'm then going to click on open and I'm going to browse for the first Liar's Dice project. So I'm going to click on the first Liar's Dice project and then I'm going to click on select folder. And then I'm going to click on open. Here it's going to ask me whether it's okay for Unity to update this project to the latest version of Unity. And you can see that the last time I opened this project was back when I was using Unity 5. Now if I hadn't opened this project probably two or three years ago to check to see if I still had this project, the version number would have probably been Unity 4. Now since I have this project backed up on my external hard drive, I'm gonna click upgrade. This is actually really exciting because I haven't seen this project in a long time and you haven't ever seen this project. And so I'm happy that I get to show you my very first project inside Unity. Okay, so it finished updating to the latest version of Unity and it looks pretty good. So let's click play and see if it still works. All right, so here we have the main menu scene of my game and there's really not a whole lot there. I have some text and I have a background image and I actually think the text objects are sprites that I created in Photoshop, which I know sounds pretty bad, but I was just starting out. I didn't really know what I was doing. Now where it says start game, dice color, and rules, these are all clickable objects. So if I click on rules, it'll just bring up some description on how to play Liar's Dice. Now when I click on dice color, it brings up a selection menu where I can click on different colors and switch out the color of my dice. Now when we click start game, this will load us into a new scene where we're given five dice. And I'm actually gonna put headphones on for this. Okay. We then have options to remove a dice, to roll the dice, or to exit. And if I click on roll dice, you can see how all of the dice are randomly rotated to a new face of the dice. And if I click on remove dice, we are then down to four dice. And if I keep removing dice until I'm all out of dice, we'll be given a game over screen. I'll feed you to the sharks. <laughs> and so I have this skull that I actually modeled. This was probably one of the first models that I ever did. And it just says game over and then there's an exit button. Now that's what my very first game in Unity was. Pretty bare bone if you ask me. But the idea behind this application wasn't supposed to be anything super elaborate with multiplayer and all of the features of sharing and everything because I was just starting out. And so my idea was to be able to create an application that would essentially just get rid of the need for having a bunch of dice. Because if you're playing large dice with four people, that's 20 dice right there. And who has 20 dice just lying around? You're gonna have to go through your Monopoly, your Risk, your Settlers of Catan, and just pull out all the dice in order to collect that many dice. And so the idea was that people would still have to be in the same room as each other, but you wouldn't have to buy a pack of 100 dice in order to play. Now just a reminder, if you're watching this video by now, I should have large dice available to play on our website at infogamerhub.com. I'll also leave links in the description below to where you can download and play large dice on both Android and iOS. Over the next several days, I'll probably work on updating large dice so that it works with the new UI system. I'll probably then revamp all of the code and assets, and then I'll do a follow-up video showing you the improvements that I've made. I'll then make a build of the updated version and host that version on our website, so you'll be able to play the old version and the new version of Liar's Dice. Now I hope this personal story of mine inspires you to continue making awesome video games. Then I wanna say thank you for tuning in and welcome to Game Dev. I wanna wish you the best of luck on this amazing journey that you've just started. If you like this video, then make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share it with any of your friends that you think will be interested in learning how to make awesome video games. If you have any questions or you want to see more videos like this one, then leave it in the comments below and also subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Let's go upstairs. Mommy can do a recording. You just tell it no. as you just tell it as no. you remember it. And then I'll like splice it in there. It'd be so funny. So funny. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Yeah.
Hey. You're like, I'm Charlie. Hi. And you're like, I'm Charlie. Hey. I was in the old introduction video and I've done a few videos on this channel. I've got a degree in animation game design. And when Nathan was using Game Maker, mm. I was like, you're stupid. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and then Rocket. I taught Rocket. him, got him started. And then you can say the rest of the story is true.